Hey you guys and we are finally back. We're at episode 17 of Pretty Then. Where I do believe we are addressing Sign's decision and whether he will continue to journey with us or finally split ways and looking for his friend Gorilla. Let's definitely get into things and find out. He didn't know this would become such a tough decision for him. Why do I have to be in the complete opposite direction? Mm. We know, and they'll understand. They'll miss you, they understand. I saw that little look. Was a little excuse to hold her hands again. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Noise, 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 noise. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Oh my god, I missed my weekly dosage of food. And... Hey, but maybe the blizzard is not a curse but a blessing because it does mean that Sign gets a little bit more time to decide and stay with. <laughs> There's a magic shop. Legendary level spell? Mold and tough oil stain. Those do come in handy. Look at that shiny ass pot. <laughs> they changed my world. Yeah, sounds like we'll be staying together for a while longer. I'm glad. I think it's good to have this kind of blizzard excuse to spend a little bit more time together. <gasps> Legendary spell? Really? Oh, that's why the place was empty. I thought we at least, like, came together for dinner. We're fighting. What happened this time? What happened between you two? Starek, what is it? What did you do? I love how he's like the dad. Oh, bless. Beren, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a little different from upset. That was kind of cute. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I feel like Fadden's true heart here. It was my fault to begin with. I don't mind that he touched me. Oh, oh no, there's something more, my bad. Fair, fair. I don't know, there was a scared aspect. Okay, no, that was my bad. <laughs> I know, right? Ella finally someone said it. Thank you. <laughs> you are a kid. And she's a sexy older lady. <laughs> True that. I don't, well, yeah, we've seen both flashbacks, but I don't think of it that way. In a way, she wanted to be... Himo. Yeah, the sign. The one that gave her the push to take on this amazing adventure of her lifetime. She's grown so much. Exactly. The joys of spending time with them. I'm really going to miss sign. He was just that perfect addition to the team. I 
it's really funny how we all play like a role in each other's lives even though we don't like mean to or intend to it's just it's interesting how the like i guess um threads of fate are intertwined honestly i think that's just what makes like relationships special really special Take care. Yeah, what the hell, guys? Come on. I mean, it is a happy farewell. Even though it will be quite quiet. It is so cold. Oh no, someone's sick. Fed and sick. Her breathing's erratic. Is Freeland sick as well? Fed and definitely sick. Oh, sweetie. Looks like you've got a cold. Oh, and then my free run's just not a morning bird, I forgot. Just 12 more hours. That's next level. Free <laughs> then? Fed and doesn't look well. The cold hand attack. Just when we've lost our priest. Oh, yes. That's good. I've got a holy... S you, d you do? You're using it as a pot stem, my friend? <laughs> Really? A place nearby? I was wondering who was going to carry Fed in. I know it's not the time, but as Sign said, just day already. <laughs> that was very generous. Icicle cherry blossom? Does it now? Oh, Fedin, it's okay. But you'll always be a child to me then. Like, in a good way, as in the sense that she'll always want to like, kind of take care of Fedin. Not like see her immaturely as like a child, but more so like just that care. They grow up so fast. <laughs> yeah, like she even saw a sign as a child, so. Isha, oh, that's fascinating. So cold. Okay, now I get where it gets its name from. I thought it was going to be quite the sight to see. They're enchanting. Oh, okay. Yeah, you worry. Did Himmel hold your hand when you were sick? Yeah, exactly. It's not just children who need emotional support. Oh my god, this gets... Okay, never mind, he ruined it. <laughs> oh, that just... It, that, it's that thing that the series does where it's just like... Your heart just feels squeezed because it's such a beautiful memory, but... It's been 29 years since his passing. <sighs> Why does this seem like you're making some... Yeah, witch's potion. Are you sure this medicine's alright? It's 
Someone really wanted to draw some cow yetis this episode. <laughs> Let Frida and Kara for you, Fado. The city of magic. This ending animation tied in so nicely with this episode, obviously, because it was in regards to like you know Ferdinand being sick and Free Ren like looking after us. We also got that flashback in regards to like him all holding her hand as well. So it was more so yeah, that's what I meant by like Free Ren isn't treating like Ferdinand like a child, like not the negative kind of connotations associated with like being a child, but more so it's just like you know that care, that love. You you know, that emotional support that she wanted to offer Fedon when she was in pain and Frida didn't have any way of doing anything. Because yeah, you know, it, like him or the hero, I'm sure felt like a pain that he couldn't do anything about when he lost his mother. So when he saw like Fedon once again, someone, we know that he truly holds dearly in pain again, yet he is him or the hero, but he can't take that away, you know? We've all had that feeling of when you see someone you care about being in pain, yet you feel like so helpless when you can't do anything, um, but I guess like hold their hands. That's why that was like a very touching just episode with like him all doing that for Freddy then and now Freddy then doing that for Fedon. And that's why this ending with it all about being them kind of finding each other and like how that brought about you know, back colour to their life again. I think it's such a beautiful relationship as, you know, said when we said goodbye to Sign and just like how our fates, our pathways intertwined. Overall, this episode, I would say, did a fantastic job of just showing like how fascinating and beautiful I think relationships can be. So yeah, I'm so glad we're back with our weekly dosage of Vida and Kuz. You know, I think this episode perfectly summed up why we need it. However, I do believe going forward now, we are indeed entering the magic arc and I saw the trailer for that and I think there's going to be a lot of new characters and action to explore. So I'm definitely really eager for that. So I guess until then, make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week.